This noise. That's dead, genuinely my worry. I, whenever I'm sticking like, something to a fabric which I know is going to bend and move, I generally think, okay, can I, is it right for me to stick it vertically if naturally it's going to do that over time? Because that's got nothing to do with the fabric, that's all sticky tape related. So that's sort of why potentially in this situation I'd go with a vampire clip solution. Vampire clip, bit of Ursa tape, putting it into the Ursa tape. Like that. Be, this, the reason being that I don't want to put the pins into an actual piece of costume because it could mm -hmm. actually pin the actor or pin me in the process or pin them when they try and take it off at the end of the day. I was on a show called um, Mother, Father, Son with Richard Gere and he wore silky shirts all the time and this was our rig for him to just go. He would always, he wouldn't have, a, he wouldn't have like a much of a tie most of the time. He would just have a shirt and it would be unbuttoned at the top. And so we'd rig it basically like that, just quite high up there. Stick that down. So now, the idea is now when this moves, it's not getting that bloody, but it's still, it's still in the area where we want it to be. So that's really the, the benefit of this. And I feel like the, the, the mount separates the mic from the fabric a little bit more. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not even making that noise at all now. Yeah. The other, the other rig here, as an alternative, no sticky, like no sticky tape rigs would be like a foamy with a pin going through it and then you pin the foamy there and then the foamy just sort of sits there and moves around but there's no sticky tape holding it in place so it's not going to peel and peel, make that noise. So this is sort of a quick kind of doco rig scenario is where I might pin the foamy here or pin it in the, in the middle of a shirt and it's just generally just kind of sits in one place and creates a space. You don't need like the full fur, just take half a foamy. Take that through. So yeah, I, I'll be looking at pinning it sort of vertically so it's sort of in the same world. So I'm gonna go down, I'm literally pinning through the foamy itself, like that. So now it's just in the foamy, and if they're strong enough to hold, like that can take a good rip. The, and the, the mic won't pull out of it. So now I'm just going to pin that through the fabric here. I know people do rigs like this from shows like Survivor and stuff like on an island, they'll have a rig which uses a pin because uh, they don't want to rely on sticky tape for people running around on, a, on an island, yeah. I'll just redo that. My, my technique for the, 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 the doing a, 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 one of these loops is I'll, I'll twist the cable with my finger and I'll try and make it so that the cable holds itself down by like that. So the cable, when I stick that down, oh, it's, all mad, it's yeah. yeah, so this side of the cable is pushing that, that bit of the cable in rather than the other way around where it will be pushing it out. <coughs> it's just the way you spin it in your fingers. Okay. Then a little bit of tape on the doubled up bit of fabric so we don't see it. Then that runs down, that will avoid. Now you shouldn't hear too much noise here before and the mic is just sort of poking out the top of the foamy there. Okay, let's have a listen. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's brilliant. One, two, one, two. How would you, how would you put wind protection on that sort of rig then? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it now, we'll see what it's like, and then I'll do something, see, see if it improves it. My general approach to wind protection is if, like, I've got a mic on, if you waft me massively, that's fine, levels of wind noise, right? So have I got, like, loads of fur on this mic? No, it's just on a mini mount. It's just a mini mount. It's because the T-shirt's doing all the work. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with putting fur, like, on the mic if, it's, if there's already a layer and then air. <laughs> the layer and the air are doing all the work for wind protection. But in your case, it's, it's, the, mic is, um, the mic is exposed more, so we, we do need to look at that. Generally just fold it over, create, the, um, create that, that circle. Here's a white one. Now, Adam, I'm assuming I could just sort of stick this around this, you know, around the foamy and create like a bit of a ball of fur while still using the foamy.
But yeah. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think that's helped, right? Yeah. 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 Um and, and I genuinely would be too worried about going too much lower because I know I'm going to get all sorts of noise because of the shirt. So that's why I'm really focusing my effort like high up mm -hmm. in that area. Okay, are there any other weeks that we should listen to? How are we doing for time?